Good morning, Shabbat Shalom, blessing to every one of you who listen this short word of encouragement because Shabbat is the day to totally depending on God's will and purpose. I hope you're understanding what's really meaning Shabbat, not in a religious way, but with a really understandable biblical perspective about Shabbat. Shabbat is the only resting, is the also the feast where the Lord say, keep Shabbat holy in Ten Commandments. Shabbat is meaning to reconnecting with God, recovenant with God, to me, to have closer to His heart. Leave all your worry, struggles, difficulties, and totally be depending on His will and purpose. Can we open right now this morning, Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. Can we read together in one spirit, loud with declaration, power. Whatever is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think on such things. Wow. Lord, I want to think such things, Lord. The positive, the noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable thoughts and things. My prayer be changed. Amen. And Proverbs chapter 21, 21. Whatever pursue righteousness and unconditional love, find what? Life and goodness of prosperity and blessing. And of course, what? Honor. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God, to you are miraculous King of kings and Lord of lords. You know, my brethren, sometimes when we are focused on our material things, we lose the blessing. And today I want to encourage you to you are not Focus on your own private struggles and difficulties and your desires and plans. But you focus on, how, on His will. Amen? Like we read in Philippians chapter 4, 8 says, that upon which we focus will greatly influence the kind of life that we live. Our focus can become our citadel of freedom or our prison of hopelessness. Oh, Lord. Sometimes you win. Sometimes you really have a victorious battle. But and sometimes you are really in the process of test and learn. I hope you understand what I speak to you right now. Some of you may be really passing through this really difficult destruction in your moment. But remember, success is not about harbor, but voyage with your own perilous. We have it so grain in us that is always about winning. We us always want to traveling with victorious. But look at this. But sometimes you have lose the battle to win the war. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is spiritual language what we speak to you. Sometimes you need to be win the battle. Maybe you give up and stand in the side and not be under the, any accusation and criticism what people say and speak about you. Step down. Close your mouth. Don't be part of any accusation. And the Lord knows your battle. But you are win the war. Failures is training ground. Prepare you for success. If you believe strongly in something, keep working at it. Don't lose hope. You are one step away from supernatural, blessed success in your daily life. Amen? Be strong. Be courageous. Be blessed. Be significant in the way how the Lord God is preparing you. And right now I pray for every one of you. Abba Father. King of kings, the Lord of lords, Savior and Redeemer, Yeshua, the Messiah, Jesus Christ. We really want to say thank you for this precious morning of Shabbat, for your unstoppable, uncompromising love that is never ending. Thank you for your strength that is never ending. Oh, yes, you are our King. You are my Father. You are my glorious supporter. We declare that your shalom, fullness and completeness of peace, follow us all day long. We declare that you are ordering our steps and pleasing us in favorable situation. I pray for favor, doors open, prepare the way, Lord, for the people who is know-how, hope, 
Father, you, they wake up this morning, and you are, your light is shine upon them, and victory after victory take place. Yes, and amen, in Yeshua, the Messiah, Jesus Christ's name. With you today, the Pastor Daniel Rosen, with a word of encouragement.